Hey, it's Gerald, and I am the Notary Commander, a California notary public that you can trust. Today, I want to answer your question, what happens to my document when the notary's public's commission expires? So is your document still valid and notarized once the notary public commissions expires? Just in case, if you are not aware, and I'm a notary public in the state of California, in the state of California, notary publics are commissioned for four years and they earn a commission once qualified by the California Secretary of State. Um, so once we take an oath as a notary public, we'll get our seal, which is what we uh, stamp your documents with. Uh, this is my seal. Uh, here's a little closer. My seal, it says, expires in May of 2022. I recently received a call from a client who was concerned because they have a power of attorney, in this case for their uh, parent, and the notary's commission ex was, uh, expiration date was coming up. So they were reaching out to me uh, asking if I would reseal uh, the document. So basically, would I uh, notarize the, the power of attorney again? So in this case, I asked the client if they would send me a picture of exactly of what uh, the issue was or what the, their question, and they sent me a copy of the power of attorney, and it was uh, a, the upcoming expiration of the, uh, the notary public seal. In the case of power of attorneys, uh, if you have a power of attorney document, it may list exactly this uh, document will expire at a certain date, but uh, if a power of attorney does not or your document does not express a certain date in the written text of the contents of the document saying uh, this document will expire at such and such date or is void or, or invalid after a certain date, then just because the notary public's uh, commission expires does not mean that your document is no longer valid. It is still valid. Okay? Uh, that only means that the notary public's commission expires. We are commissioned uh, for a period of four years by the sec uh, Secretary of State in the state of California I am. Uh, and after that four years, um, then I have to take the oath again, get qualified again, uh, in order to, if I choose to remain a notary public. Um, but that does not invalidate the document. That just says that my commission expires at that certain date. Uh, so just in case, if you had that question about is your document still valid, uh, like in this client's case, yes, it is. The power of attorney did not express um, that it would expire at a certain date within the context of the, the power of attorney. So the power of attorney was still valid. In this case, the notary public's uh, commission expired in December of 2019. It is now 2020. Uh, but that document still is a valid power of attorney and will hold up in any legal uh, case. But uh, it's up to you as, you, you know, your discretion if you choose to revise the document in any way. Uh, in this case, a power of attorney or would like to, you know, someone may uh, no longer be um, a candidate or selected as a power of attorney, then a new draft would need to be um a new document would need to be drafted, and then, of course, uh, it, it would then again need to be uh, notarized, right, if you choose to. Uh, and instead of a California, you can witness a power of attorney, or you can have it notarized. That's up to you. Um, but just in case you have that question, uh, that may save you a couple of dollars or it may answer your question. Again, I am the notary commander. Uh, your trusted mobile notary in the San Francisco Bay Area. If you are interested in me notarizing your documents, uh, you can give me a call or text me at area code 510-519-7126. Or you can email me at gerald uh, at Notary Commander or just visit my website at www.notarycommander.com.